Grade 8 Math, number 10.1b, Properties of Dilations, for Chapter 10. This is dilations on a coordinate plane. We now know that dilations change the size of a figure, but not the shape or orientation. And we now know that every dilation has a fixed point, where the corresponding parts on lines intersect at the center of dilation. We know we call dilations that are proportional to each other similar. We call them similar. They're not equal, they're not congruent, because the sizes are different. They're just similar. The coordinates of a figure on a coordinate plane can be affected by a dilation. We can reduce them or enlarge them. So remember from the last video, a dilation is a transformation that changes the size, but not the shape of a figure. And our pupils dilate when we go into a dark room, they enlarge. This dark center of our eye gets bigger to let more light into our eyes. Our pupils dilate. And you can go to the eye doctor and he'll do an eye test on you where he dilates your pupils. So enlargement means to make large. It's actually got the word large in it, doesn't it? And reduction has reduce in there, see? It means to make smaller, to reduce it. So here's our figure. We've got this blue shape right here and it's got an image inside of it that's pink and you can see from the little tick marks that the pink one is the copy it's the image the blue one is the pre-image so figure w prime x prime y prime z prime is a dilation of w x y z it's reduced it shrank we record the x and y coordinates for the points of each figure and find the ratios we can find the ratios between them Okay, so we're going to compare W to W prime and X to X prime and Y to Y prime and Z to Z prime, and we're going to see what the ratio is. So the first thing we do is list the image coordinates, the pink ones, so that the ratios are going to be correct. You always do the image first, the one with the primes, okay, on the labels. So what we've got for the pink one is W is at negative one and two and a half. Well, let's look. W is at negative 1 on X and 2 and a half on Y. See, it hits Y at 2 and a half. X prime is at 2, 1. X prime, right here, see the prime symbol, the tick mark, is at 2 on X and 1 on Y. Y prime is at 2, negative 2. Z prime is at negative 2, negative 2. And then we look at our original, our pre-image, W is at negative 2, 5. It's at negative 2 on X right here, and it's at 5 on the Y, okay? And X is at 4, 2, Y is at 4, negative 4, Z is at negative 4, negative 4, and what we're going to do is we're going to come down like this with each X value and each Y value, and we're going to make a fraction out of them. And we can do this because we followed our little rule of listing the image first. You list the copy first, and then you put the original underneath it for the coordinates. That'll give you your ratio. That gives us negative 1 over negative 2. Well, negative 1 over negative 2 is a half. It's 1 over 2 because these two negatives cancel each other out as a positive. That's 0.5. 2.5 over 5, well, that's 2.5 over 5, that's half also. That's 0.5. 2 over 4, that makes 0.5, that's a half. 1 over 2, that makes 0.5, that's a half. 2 over 4, that makes 0.5. Negative 2 over negative 4, the negative symbols cancel each other out, so it's a positive 0.5. Negative 2 over negative 4, again, a positive 2, 5, a point. 0.5, and negative 2 over negative 4 again is a positive 0.5 because they canceled each other out. So now we can see that the ratio between the pink triangle and the blue triangle, it's all a half. All the measures for the pink one are half of what the blue one are. Well, we can make a conjecture. That's an opinion without all the facts. Conjecture. We can make a conjecture about the ratios of the coordinates of the dilated pink image to the original blue figure. They're proportional because all the ratios are the same. They're 0.5. So they're similar, aren't they? They're not the same size, but they are the same shape and they have the same orientation, don't they? They're sitting exactly the same way. 
The center of dilation is the origin, zero, zero. Look at this. Where do you think that the original image came from if the smaller version is here? Well, if we got even smaller, it would get closer to zero, zero, wouldn't it? And we could eventually make it a little tiny microscopic shape at zero, zero, couldn't we, if we wanted to? So that's the center of dilation. It's right in the very center at zero, zero, the origin. The shape and orientation are the same, but the sizes are different. And we know the image, the copy, the pink one, is labeled with little tick marks of prime notation. So we know that the pink one is the copy. The original just says W, X, Y, Z, but the image says W prime, X prime, Y prime, and Z prime with these little tick marks. And if we saw another image that had two little tick marks after each letter, we would know that it's a copy of this one, wouldn't we? It would be a copy of the copy. All right, so those are dilations on a coordinate plane, and that's how we can find out if they're proportional in proportion to each other. In our next video, 10.1c, we're going to find scale factors, okay? I'm going to work on the scale of dilations, okay? That's another type of a ratio. I'll see you next video. Hope this was helpful. I hope you're doing okay. Keep your chin up. We're getting through this, okay? I'm on Twitter. If you have any questions or you need any help, just let me know, all right? And don't forget I'm on Patreon.com. I'd really support, like, appreciate the support, even if it's just a dollar a month. And I'm a grandma on a fixed income, and it would be really helpful. Bye.